hi welcome back to my channel so i would like to take a minute guys and thank you all for your continuous support your amazing messages comments your donations and your gifts coming from around the world i truly truly appreciate you guys and the relationship that i have made and built with some of you guys so before we get into this video i wanted to thank my sponsors keen that i'm collaborating with one more time so keen is a website where you can find mediums astrologers psychics tarot readers people of all kinds very talented spiritual people and i had a chance to try keen for myself you can either call or you can use a chat option whichever you are most comfortable with and what i also like about it you can always find people who are online even if it was 5 a.m in the morning and you need an urgent reading you'll always find someone there so the person that I had the reading done by, they were super quick when responding to my queries, as well as very specific and very on point. So I was very pleasantly surprised. If you wanted to try this out, guys, there is a promo going right now, 10 minutes for $1.99. And you can use a link that I'm gonna be attaching down below in the description box. It's trykeen.com slash Brigitta, my name. A lot of people call me Aqua Arcana. And um, it's pretty simple to use. All you need to do is to uh, click a couple of buttons. I'm gonna show you the whole process. Choose the person that you vibe with the most. I would also suggest reading descriptions of people because you'll be able to see what they're about, what kind of personality they have, and maybe you're going to build a relationship with one of those psychic people. So let's go through a quick video, guys, how Keen works. I'm gonna run very quickly through the process of it and we're gonna come back to the video. So it's pretty simple to use Keen. You just click get started, answer a couple of questions, what kind of reading you want, do you want it to be more subtle or very direct, then put your first name, surname, your date of birth, click next and it's going to take you to all the readers out there. Choose yours and get started. Let's get back to the video. Hey guys, so here are your choices. Pile number one is on the left, pile number four is on the right. So for the first group, we have a shell. The second, we have a stone. The third, we have a shell. And the fourth, we have a shell too. So I'm going to include a picture of these all together. Take a moment, meditate, take your time, and I'll see you in timestamps. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one. So let's see what spirit is around you and what do they want to say. I'm shuffling the dreams of Gaia Tarot. We're going to include a couple of more cards before we start talking. And what do they want to say? And I'm shuffling the magic of you, Oracle. I want to look at these together with you. And also, we're going to be using the Tarot of the Angels. I want three cards only. And I want to ask the question, what should you be prepared for? What's happening? We have strength. I hope you can see that. What should you, prepared, should you be prepared for, pile number one? We have the seven of cups. Mm-hmm. We have the six of wands nice bottom of a deck the five of swords reversed and i'm feeling like it's reversed so let's look at your cards guys okay this is beautiful to start with i don't know why i want to start 
I wanted to start with the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, but straight away what I'm picking up together, when I'm looking at strength, there's a lot of greenery in this deck and not all cards have a green background. A lot of them have blues and other colors in it. So overall, it does seem like what you need to know about, there is going to be a period of peace. Um, especially if you have felt a little bit up in the air, in the clouds, you didn't know what kind of, what decision to make. Um, in the future, what you're being told as well, what's happening, what to be prepared for, um, you will be making a choice and you're going to have a couple of options. What do I do? Where do I stand? Where am I going? I'm hearing. At the end of the day, what you need to know here. Pile number one is that whatever choice you make, you're going to be successful with a six of wands. And you know why? Because you're following your gut. And the color green for me, with the strength here, it's saying you see the decisions and you see clear path whenever you listen to the spirit or your intuition. Why I'm saying... Um, color green is connected here. It's because the more grounded you are, the easier it is to make up your mind and to feel where you need to go. Overall, if you feel like you're out of choice, out of options, this is not going to be an issue in the future. It does seem like there's gonna be a period of, you know, everything might come at once for you. And whatever is gonna happen here, at first you might feel a bit conflicted, this is saying, but at the end of it all, you're going to want to even pat yourself on the back, how well you've done. Let's look at your cards here. Yeah, because what I'm seeing with the Avenor card here, make peace with your past, who you used to be no more. Some of you have been probably stressed in the past uh, regarding one issue here, maybe an idea of some sort. Um, a lot of people, a lot of stories, right? But this is saying what you are trying to do and what's going to be happening in the future, you will not be so, I'm hearing stressed, anxious about the decisions you will be making in the future. You're becoming much more assertive and that's what spirit is helping you with. Let's see what kind of spirit is around you. Straight away, what I want to say for a lot of you, this is going to be your deceased. Um, that's the most what I'm picking up here. For some of you now, I'm going to split two different stories. So pick what is yours because a lot of stories, because a lot of people are watching this, right? Mm, this can either be a person from the childhood, maybe someone you grew up with, a friend of some sort, maybe who have passed over. Um, it can also be a lover for some of you, a husband or wife. Um, for others of you, this is going to be someone whom you have a very strong connection with, a very strong bond, you know. It's almost like you were one, maybe your point of view in life was quite similar. But overall, to sum this up, the spirit that's looking after you is, is definitely the deceased. Because what I intended to do with this reading... We can have different entities and energies come in, right? The spirit can be um, a spirit of your ancestor, right? It can be an entity. It can be an angel, some of you, if some of you believe in that. And so I just wanted to look at what kind of spirit is present with you. And it's definitely for pile number one, someone that you've known of, um, who have passed on. Now, let's see what else would they want to say to you here. Um, they worried about you when you worry. That's what I'm hearing. They don't want you to worry anymore because it seems like for some of you, you might have pr problems with your gut when you worry. And uh, maybe you have issues with digestion or bloating or stomach pain. And it seems like some of you have have gone through something quite, I'm hearing a shake up in the past and the spirit has seen it. So uh, whenever you, you ground yourself, whenever you feel peaceful, it's almost like that's when you're smiling and there is a, there is a sense of pride here. 
yeah there is a big sense of pride almost like they want to give you pat on the back and say hey you know what sit down and listen how well you've done and how many things you went through already with the ten of swords that's what i was referring to right you've been through difficult situations here it's not little things that you worry over you know um a job that you can replace in the future right it's much bigger it seems like some of you have gone through maybe some kind of tragedy in the past it doesn't have to be for all of you but something significant has happened and the spirit has been with you all along almost like an invisible support i'm hearing that five of <laughs> that five of swords came up again here in reverse Um, a specific message with that five of swords here for some of you it's saying um, i'm proud that you didn't get your ego involved or you didn't get angry it's almost like um there was a situation maybe even recently for some of you where you wanted to fight or you wanted to say something that you know you would regret later on but you you said okay i'm gonna give myself extra time to react so maybe before you were much easier, much more easily triggered and I'm hearing no more. Do you remember how I said, you know, how, how I used to be no more? So it seems like you're changing as a person, you're growing um, and you've grown quite a lot in a short period of time. So that's why in this panel number one, there is that big sense of pride from that spirit. Yeah, look, you changed your fortune almost. That's what's coming through here. You changed your life around by your actions. What can you expect, pal number one? What does the spirit want to talk about? I've been asked to change the decks. What does the spirit want to say? What can you expect? What can you expect? Mm-hmm. We have faith as well as the ace of fire. This is nice. And again, if we look at the faith card, see, it seems like this person has created their own world. And again, there's a lot of greenery here. So there is some kind of connection for you here with Gaia, with Earth, maybe with plants that um, you're going to... There's that connection that you're going to grow even stronger in the future. Uh, for some of you, um, what's coming through also? A spirit animal. I'm not going to start mentioning all of them because if this is the message for you, you know exactly what spirit animal is looking after you. It's saying, um, it's almost like something is already destined for you. Something is written for you already. And what's yours will be yours. It's some kind of a exciting new opportunity. I'm hearing start over or something better than you had. And that card wants to come out. Um, if you had any, if you're expecting anything from institution or you are thinking about signing some kind of documents that are important, maybe even visas for some of you, maybe divorce for some of you, whatever that would be that includes formalities. Know that this is going to be, it's almost like they want to say, this has been already taken care of. So you're going to get what you want, especially when it comes to papers. Now, this message might not be all, um, might not be for all of you. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I see. You're receiving some kind of a blessing gift. You know, when it comes to deceased, um, they hear the conversations that we don't, right? Because we can't be in many places at once. And it seems like for a lot of you, whatever this new opportunity is, a new start, um, this is in the works already. For 
others of you, this is an encouragement. Seek for um, the spark I'm hearing. Seek for the spark. Yeah, for some of you, this is a connection. If you are single, I'm talking to you. This is a new connection coming in your life. Have faith, this is saying, okay? If some of you have lost hope, you're like, I can never find anyone or I want to be alone forever. This is saying, have faith because you go, even if, you know, you want to be alone forever, life sometimes surprises you, right? <laughs> People change their mind. Because if a right person approaches, that, that need is gone usually. Yeah, thoughts. What's your thoughts? What do you want to say to you here? What's your thoughts? What is it that you say to yourself, especially just before going to bed? Um, talk to yourself as if you were your best friend. Because whatever the spirit is around you, they, they're truly rooting for you. Mm -hmm. This is sweet. Okay, how will you... Where will you, how will you feel or notice the spirit the next time? So just keep your eyes open the next couple of weeks, okay? Any subtle senses, any coincidences, and stuff like that. Um, picking up for some of you, uh, listen to the lyrics. You're going to hear lyrics. Um, it's going to stand out to you. Or when you're going to be reading something, some of the sentences or words um, will be highlighted for you and it's going to make sense. You know, when you're going through... Um, it happened to me, I think, a month or two ago as well, where I was watching something on YouTube and there were subtitles because the sound was not the best. And um, the spirit a couple of hours ago um, have told me something and I completely forgot to look it up. And I was like, okay, later on. And suddenly from those subtitles, um, words were highlighted. And I was like, oh, right, I need to check again. I need to, I need to rem remember to check it. And once I did find the meaning of the word that I've heard before, that's when everything made sense. And I was like, whoa, this is actually serious. This is actually intense. Uh, so I'd say uh, keep your eyes on that. For others of you, something might happen in a work situation or through a colleague. You know when sometimes people, um, spirit speaks through people. So that might happen too. Maybe you're going to hear someone say something that your um, deceased would have said or the way they talked, or maybe something that reminds you of that, listen to what is being said, this is saying. Okay, what else? It's almost like um, this, this spirit is keep, they keep referring to some kind of a new growth that's about to, that's about to come, because it's almost like I'm seeing a project, or whatever was happening behind the scenes, you didn't know, um, and I'm seeing a vision, you know, of... Um, of a lot of spirits working on something for you, preparing it behind the scenes, and it's about to be ready. It's about to be ready. So <laughs> I'd say expect a new start of some sort, whatever that would be for you here, guys. But it seems like it has a big potential. I do hope that this made sense, pal number one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two. So let's use a couple of other decks. All right, all right. Give me one second. I'm not ready for it. I'm using the Dreams of Gaia. I want to pull one more card from that one. What does the spirit want to say? I'll also be using the magic of you, Oracle. tarot of the angels what can you expect pile number two happening 
what are you being prepared for? We have the Seven of Swords. What are you being prepared for? To hear the truth I'm hearing, okay? It's been with you all along. If you couldn't see the truth, if you couldn't um, hear what's being said, or sometimes, you know, we, if we sabotage ourselves and we don't want to hear something, this is saying um, you're going... You're going to see it very clearly. Any information that was hidden from you or maybe you have hidden it from yourself because we tend to do that as humans as well, right? Um, we know what it is, but we tend to clo close our eyes to something. This is saying you're, gonna, you're going to be shown things. Keep your eyes open. Yep. And as I said that, you see that? There are angels, seems like, um, if you believe in angels. Um, angels sending a message. And it's going to come unexpected. All right. I want to get into this a bit more. What is that about? Um, this now, this some kind of a truth or maybe a secret will come out here. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad, right? Maybe something that you were not aware of. Um, but it might come through another person. So maybe someone's going to say something to you. Or maybe you're going to read something to yourself and you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Not something I've discovered just now. And for a lot of you, what this is saying, you might uh, be focusing after that, some kind of unexpected news, you might be focusing on your independence much more. Um, and you will want to build yourself on here and higher. I don't know what it means to you here, but it seems like you're going to be pretty. Um, happy where you at yeah, and it seems like for a lot of you guys um, you've built a, a, a life for yourself you went through a lot but sometimes you don't you don't see that and that's what they want to tell you open your eyes open your eyes sometimes you don't see reality Yeah, see, uh, this energy is very unexpected. The Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Seven of Swords. Expect the unexpected, this is saying, okay? It's almost like you're being prepared for some kind of a shock factor here. And it doesn't this, people, when you hear that, especially the Tower, they're like, oh my God, this is going down. Not necessarily something's going to come out of the blue where you're going to be like, whoa, you know, I'm stoked. But it has a strong connection with your independence here or how much you've grown as a person so for one group of people it can be something that you hear about someone else that you didn't expect them to do or to be um, for other people this is going to be um, a scenario where someone would tell you something that kind of boosts your Mm, ego and you're like you really thought of me that um i didn't i wouldn't have known until you said it to me and it's almost like someone's stroking your ego and you you'd probably think that this is the last person i would hear it from but hey you know what happened it's there is a surprise factor here a big surprise factor almost like a turn of events okay let's see we have the counselor we have mosaic, let the chance play its creative role in your life. Yeah. Now, what this card is saying here, what, how I'm seeing it, again, you see, looking at, the, looking at your eyes, we're looking at your eyes, it seems like um, the way you saw something before, the way you imagine it, I'm not going to mention specifically what it is for all of you because would, it would take me all day, right? So many people. But the way you saw certain thing or person before, um, maybe even yourself, it's going to be changing big time. And it seems like for a lot of you, what you're going to be deciding to do is to stop multi-managing the universe and to let that chance play its creative role in your life. You know, I'm hearing for some of you, oh, well, shit happens. Let me see where it takes me. And you know what this reminded me of? One scenario. There was a guy um, who wanted to be in, um, to sing in a competition. And he had an amazing song ready 
for the competition. And then Corona struck. And he was devastated because everyone loved his song. And everyone's like, oh my God, he can't use the same song the next year, blah, blah, blah. And what actually happened? So he was devastated at first, right? He was like, I can't see how this is going to turn out to be great. But... More than a half year later, he releases a new song and everyone loves it even more and he has 10 times more following now than he would have had then, even before the competition has started. So that's what kind of situation this reminds me of, okay? Um, I want you to get the feeling behind it. So you understand what I'm trying to get at here. Let's look at what, what kind of spirits surround you. We have the two of cups as well as the nine of cups. This is sweet. Um, you know this energy. Okay, I'm just going to split you into groups. Feel which message, message is for you. Um, this is a very light-hearted being. For a lot of you, this is a being that is looking after you and whatever that being is it has um it's almost like i'm seeing them i'm look i'm, I'm looking at the, the vision that i'm seeing and it seems like it's a very bright shining star and i do believe that maybe some of you if you believe in that you might be living on this earth for the first time because you used to be that light being yourself and you probably have somehow known this entity being before but it's a very high um, dimensional type of being and it does seem like it's it's far away but because its energy is so strong, um, this being is able to send you messages and somehow look after you. It's so strange the way I'm explaining this here, but um, it's difficult to put it in words for me sometimes. Um, other group. This is someone... Um, this is a spirit that you connected with or you saw signs from in the past couple of months and it's not necessarily that you you constantly were getting those signs i think there was one important um event of some sorts or insight where you are a bit like mind blown you're like whoa you know this was weird so it's almost like it's appearing here to say hey that was actually true you know that was actually my energy there or um, i showed i sh actually showed you that sign um but for a lot of you overall what this spirit wants you to know is that this reading is taken almost like um, a different route here that I didn't expect but let's talk about it um, for a lot of you guys especially if you've noticed that in life you tend to go through a lot of shifts and um, your life is very diverse and it's just sometimes difficult to keep up um, for a lot of you this is happening because your mission um, in your mission in life you're gonna have to use all those traits that you that you've built over time through those experiences because your words are really important so i don't know if you guys um, are in the field of i don't know psychology therapy mm, healings um you use your voice and they want you to use your voice a little bit more often but when it comes to your own mind um see if you feel like you get stuck sometimes in your in your own mind for too long this is saying you can also see for help and um, there are really great people out there who have who are really talented mm. 
there was one more message it's saying don't be afraid of the unexpected it's almost like let um let go of a grip sometimes especially if you tend to be a bit controlling or, or perfectionist in life it's saying sometimes it's it's good to let it go you know and kind of take one step back and observe what's happening not to say that you shouldn't take control of your life at all and just go with the flow at all times but i'm talking to those people who tend to multi-manage the universe you know, or you know if something happens um, not the way that they planned it, they get stressed very easily and they don't know where to go next. So um, it's almost like they want the spirit wants you to take it easy a bit more. Um, because there is this big sense of protection here, whatever it happens, I'm hearing. Oof. Okay, for you guys, I want to pull a couple of cards from where's that deck from the animal tarot let's get it and let's split you into three groups you can listen to all of them if you want to but let's do pick a card in the pick a card that's group number one choose your message that's group number two and that's group number three take a moment if you need to stop the video right here we're gonna talk about are those who have chosen group number one so your message life experience important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action don't hesitate to move in new directions that you know are right for you that's exactly right goes really well this life experience in this reading numbers two six of summer the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. Now with this, I wanted to mention that before but I didn't want to confuse all of you. So because I'm talking to only you guys who have chosen this card. For some of you, the spirit can be um, an old friend of some sort or someone who used to be a friend. So we're talking about a deceased spirit, not an entity of some sort. Okay. And pile number three. We have strength. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. And this goes for a lot of people who are afraid of, you know, the unexpected. Or sometimes when they um, are put in a difficult situation or they have to um, make an important decision, they tend to get a bit stuck and they can't move. They're like, oh my God, there is so much that I need to think of. So this is almost like a pat on the back for you here. You can do whatever you set your mind to and everything will ha will turn out the way it has to so i hope this made sense pal number two try thank you for coming back love you as always i'll catch you in the next one hello guys whoever has chosen pal number three so i want to pull more cards for you guys we're starting with the dreams of gaia tarot Okay, I've been told to stop, so let's take the first card here. Then we're going to be using the magic of you oracle deck. What do they want to say? What do they want to say? And we're going to also be using the tarot of the angels. What are you being prepared for? Okay, thank you. Page of Cups. Four of Swords. It came out reversed and I felt it reversed here, so we're going to read it as such. What are you being prepared for? 
seven of wands. Hmm. Okay. And a three of cups. Bottom of the deck, another page. Page of pentacles. Okay. Let's see what is up. Okay, this is nice. I'm going to show you all cards for you guys that want all of them to be visible. We have Euphoria, Honor Yourself. And we have the Judgment as well as the Chariot. So you have Majors, guys. Um, this is nice. And these two cards are, is going to be representing the entity or spirit that is around you. So give me a minute here. Right, so I'm going to be talking about uh, different scenarios here when it comes to spirits or entities. Please choose what sits right with you. You'll know which, which story is yours. I have to start with the very obvious one. The spirit that is around you is someone who passed on pretty quickly. Now, this was some kind of an unexpected event that I'm seeing that no one foreseen. So it can be even an accident for some of you of some sort or anything of that sort. It was quick and unexpected I'm seeing here. So that spirit is very present and around you. It's almost like the, um, there's a very nice vibe coming from them. So if you, if this is your story, if you wanted to honor them, do something that they, they used to love or maybe have something, even, you know, it can be as simple as if you know the, the favorite meal that this person used to have or a drink that they used to like, right? Um, just have one for yourself and when you'll, when you'll eat or when you'll drink, think of this person almost like communicate with them in your mind, like, you know, cheers to you kind of thing. Um, or it can be some sort of activity that this person loved. Um, even a place, if that's not too far away from where you're at. For others of you, there is that strong presence of um, ancestors here. It, but they are nagging me here. So if, if you are um, close to your ancestor, specifically one, it's like... Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. they want you to step up your game. It's like listen, you know, there's another upgrade coming Let's go for the upgrade. The old software is the old software now So I don't know what you want to improve yourself on but it seems like they're rooting for you. Let's do it Let's do it kind of thing, especially if you want to learn something new Or if you're interested in something, but you can't uh, maybe find courage or motivation to do it it's like they saying one step forward and everything else will fall into places. Now for a couple of you, um, this is your spirit animal. So this is only for those who, who, who are close with your spirit animal, right? And you probably know what kind of spirit animal this is, so I'm not gonna mention all of them here. A very specific message is coming through. Um, you, they saying you will pay attention. It goes the same for deceased and the ancestors here, okay? I'm mix, mixing two groups up. Um, you will either want to get some kind of a plant and it's gonna be no coincidence, or you'll pay attention to some kind of a flower or a plant in a shop Look up the meaning of it, this is saying. What are the spiritual... Um, traits of that plant, herb, flower. What is the meaning of it? There's going to be a message for you there. And pay attention, if, if that's a flower, let's say, let's, let's start with basics here, right? If that's a rose, for example, pay attention to what color the rose is. 
Um, it can also happen when, when you're scrolling through um, social media and you stop on a post and you're like, oh, that flower, there is something about that flower there. Um, so I don't want you to start fishing for signs because when we start looking, actually looking, that's when we tend to see everything that we want to find. But um, the feeling behind the sign it's very different to just when you just pass by flowers and you're like, oh, okay, there are flowers, there are herbs, or something like that. There is that feeling of, of there is something here for me. I don't know what it is. So do your research. It's almost like you're going to pay attention to even a certain object for some of you. It's, it's, all, it's all to do with your surroundings here, guys. In the next couple of weeks, especially. And that object or maybe symbol will mean something. So um, do your own analysis, this is saying. For a lot of you, the message overall here, what they want to say is to um, celebrate yourself more. It's a very straightforward message here. Celebrate yourself more through self-care, through meditations, uh, whatever feels right to you and whatever makes you feel uplifted. Um, self-care isn't you know and for a lot of people i think it's um when you just start it's difficult to implement that in your routine but you're being asked to not to forget yourself in your everyday routine even if that's 10 minutes and specifically now when you're watching this video it's almost like they want you to focus on yourself and uh, brace yourself i'm hearing because there will be a period of time, especially one scenario here that I'm seeing, that is going to um, ask you for your strength and ask you to stand up for you believe in. And it's almost like I'm seeing someone getting up from the couch and ready to go to work, right? So there is that um, contrast between someone watching Netflix for too long, right? And then they have to get up very quickly because uh, they're running late already because they wanted to finish that series and go and actually do some work. So it's almost like they're saying to me, hey, mm, prepare for something in advance. Spend a bit more time on what you want. For a couple of you, there is a message about um, two children here. Hmm. And the message about two children here is to, um, it's almost like they, um, they are able to, and I know it can be difficult if you're stuck in routine and responsibility, but it seems like they're able to, um, if you ground it and if you spend time with them, don't think about anything else and just spend time with them. And um, they're going to allow you to bring your own inner child out. Without you noticing, you're going to become a kid again. And that's something that um, some of you are missing right here. Um, I'm hearing they saying, don't forget how to play. Okay, let's see what else. Being prepared for some kind of celebration here as well, I'm seeing. And you're really, really protected here with the Seven of Wands here. Every time I see this card, this, I love, I love seeing this card. I remember when I went to, um, with school, um, when I was still going to high school, um, I went to this, I don't even remember how it's called, it has a very specific name where um, we'd spend a couple of weeks, I believe that was, living in church, no phones, just communication with one another, we would um, play guitar, live in, in an actual church. I happened to be living in the priest room and the whole experience was like mind-blowing because people, even those, you know, tough guys in high school, 
they came back different people. And it's because they were, um, we'd have gatherings where we'd open up and talk about the most difficult things that we're going through. And because everyone were so open and everyone was, we're all in this together. Mm, that unity made people safe. And that's what this card reminds me of. And why I'm saying that is because when I got back my phone before leaving home, I turned it on and back then there were no smartphones. <laughs> I had a Nokia 3210, a gray one I remember. And on my screen, I had a symbol, an outline, a white outline of this shield. And none of the, my friends could make sense of why that was. Uh, but I did with my best friend because we, we were a bit um, similar, <laughs> you know, a bit similar, crazy back then already. Um, and this, this is what this reminded me of. You are highly protected. So I don't know who needs to hear that. When I'm looking at the chariot too here, um, it seems like wherever you go in, you need to know that you're still gonna get on top of that mountain here. See that? Far away. Okay. What are they? What else are they saying? What else are they saying? Ace of Swords. Yeah, I love this Ace of Swords because there is some kind of an idea, light bulb moment, that is gonna bring you success with that crown on top. The Eight of Swords. It's like you're coming out of a period of stuck, you know, or maybe you were just holding yourself back on purpose. You were like, I don't wanna move, let me, let me sit here with myself uh, and let me think things through. Yeah, maybe because some of you were doing a bit of healing, uh, maybe something to do with childhood, maybe something to do with past love situation, and you are like, I'm not moving until I answer questions for myself. So there was that pride coming through here where, where hey, we've seen what kind of work you are doing. Maybe some of you are doing that in the future, you know? You're gonna want to look back at certain things. And that's when you're taking action. That's when you're moving forward here. Look at that horse. That horse can't even keep up with you, right? So there was that moment of light bulb, um, light bulb moment, right? Like, oh, that's what I should be doing. Let me focus on this and I can move on type of situation. So I think this message comes through almost like an advice for some of you. That's something that you might want to look at. Um, anything to do with maybe even healing as well with the judgment here honoring yourself, spending a bit more time on yourself. All these chakras are really aligned over here. This guy is like, look at me, they all aligned, right? <laughs> so that's something that you could maybe use for yourself too. So this reading was quite interesting, panel number three. I do hope that this made sense. Bottom of the deck, king of swords, there's something to do with children or a child here. For a lot of you, this is gonna be a different story, but it's either your child, you need to know that your child is protected or um, there's almost like a hint of, and then that's the chariot that we, we have right here. There's almost like a hint that maybe some of you are going to be expecting. For some of you, it's much deeper than that. Maybe there is uh, some kind of idea that you have about children and um, it might be changing in the future. So I hope that this made sense, pile number three. That was quite an interesting reading. Let me know. I'm intrigued. Okay, tribe. Love you as always. Bye for now. Hey, pile number four people. So let's shuffle. I'm going to be using more cards for you here, guys. Now I'm shuffling the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. I'm 
I'm also gonna be using the Magic of You Oracle. What do we wanna say? Seems like there are two cards for you guys that I need to pull out of all four piles to get into. And we'll also be using the Tarot of the Angels. What do we want to say? What are you being prepared for? We have the Two of Cups. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. What are you being prepared for? We have the Three of Cups. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. What the hell is going on here? This is interesting. Alright. Alright. And the Ace of Swords. Let's look at your card, shall we? Oh, this is nice. This is a very sweet energy pile number four. Whoever has picked um, this pile, you have a very good vibe. A really good vibe. Let's see what we want to talk about here. We have serendipity. And you see um, a lot of green color here. Merge with the flow. And what this female is doing here in this card, she's merging with the leaves. Um, I'd say... You're being asked to spend a bit more time outside, connect with nature, plants, whatever you do. Maybe animals for some of you as well. Be in a here and now as much as possible. Focus on how much time you spend using tech, watching something on the screen versus how much time are you just doing something. You know, it can be as simple as tidying your drawers, you know, throwing old clothes um, or stuff that you don't need anymore. Um, in order to feel better, maybe cleansing your home, um, using some type of, I'm hearing perfume or oils, um, uh, even when you are mopping your floor, put some of it there. Um, this is funny because <laughs> I started talking about it now, I just realized a couple of days ago I cleansed, um, when I was cleaning my house, I was drawn to first time in my life using eucalyptus oil in um, in the water and my god it smelled like spa here <laughs> that was amazing actually but for you it's much more than that here uh, for you it seems like you need to maybe some of you want to plant something yourself that'd be great but we need to know overall what they want you to know here um, if you feel like your growth isn't as visible as you want it to be, be a bit more patient with yourself. It takes time. Your timing is not the same like someone else's, okay? But all you need to focus on is being persistent. Consistency is the key here, okay? And then we have Mosaic. Let chance play its creative role in your life. Let's look at your middle cards and this will be talking about what type of spirit or entity is around you. We have the seven of pentacles as well as the empress. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be talking um, about very specific scenarios. So choose which one is yours. For first group of people, the spirit that is around you is your, I'm sorry if that's, if that's the case, is your child. Or someone who is really young, someone who maybe um, you used to mother. Some of you are pregnant, that's why there's another spirit around you, right? In you, actually. So congratulations if that's the case. <laughs> now for others of you, um, I'm not picking up that this is an entity um, because it can be, you know, your uh, spirit guide, um, can be your, maybe some people believe in angels, it can be an angel, right? 
but here it's it's someone who who was living or who is living um, in the case of the Empress here um, for some of you it can be someone who used to be like a mother for you I'm hearing I used to be really patient whoever this person is who has passed on they used to be really really patient and I think for a lot of you um, they were trying to teach you how to be a bit more patient. And the spirit, what it wants you to, to know is to be a bit more patient, especially when it comes to relationship with people. From tarot, what you're being prepared for is a very sweet connection now it can be a new friendship it can be a romantic relationship the two of cups the three of cups as well as the king of cups here whoever this person is that is represented by the king of cups is someone that it does seem like other people want attention from it seems like a couple of people want their time because this person has a very nice vibe around them and other people can feel that so subconsciously people are really drawn to this person whoever they are and um, it does seem like this person might appear in your life around the time when you either are gonna be busy um, maybe juggling a couple of things at once uh, maybe you're going to be focused on your schedule I'm hearing or you're going to be changing jobs. For others of you, uh, this can be around a time of fun and joy. You will be feeling really, really happy around that time. It's almost like you're on top of the mountain and you're gonna be given out this, you know, light and really good energy around you. And that's why this person who has the same energy will be drawn towards you it's a very specific scenario here when this person when you'll meet this person um it's like a special occasion of some sort so um i think this either might be a very good evening or gathering of some sorts or some kind of a planned event Um, the spirit also wants you to know some small almost like a encouragement don't be afraid to take what's yours I'm hearing go for gold so I don't know what it means to you here uh, but if some of you maybe have some self-confidence issues this is saying go for gold you deserve that and I think you're your view is changing big time if it's not if it hasn't changed this just yet it's going to be changing in the future um what you used to think you can achieve or deserve and what you actually will be thinking in the near future you can achieve and you can deserve it's almost like there is a layer being peeled from you and um I'm seeing a snake shedding its skin. And with that, there is that feeling of, I think a lot of you should expect some kind of a glow up. Now it can be physically, externally, or it can be energetic glow up. I don't know, I just made this up, but that's how it feels like. Um, you'd notice the spirit, the presence of the spirit. I'm hearing when you're out and about the most, or just after you were out somewhere and you came back home. 
but this has a very strong connection to um, nature, herbs of some sorts, maybe even flowers for some of you. I'd suggest for pile number four, wearing something green or having some type of a green object with you. That means something to you the next couple of weeks. Maybe you just want to wear something green out of nowhere, even if it's not your color. You're like, hmm, I really want to wear something green today. So those days especially, keep your eyes open because it seems like that spirit might show itself to you. Yeah, I'm telling you, some of you might be pregnant here. Um, or there is a soul that is waiting for you um, to bring them to life. It's almost like I can feel that here. But you like the time, it's not the time just yet for some of you. Maybe some of you are not even thinking about kids just yet, right? Um, those who are already planning it and those who are already pregnant, congratulations. Because if that's your scenario, that seems like this spirit that you're carrying, it's like you're your guardian you know and um, sometimes i don't know if you've noticed um some people tend to be your guardian angels you know what i mean um i don't think a lot of people talk about it because sometimes spirit can also talk through people so sometimes they would say something and it sounds a bit weird but it hits you it hits home and you come back home and you're like whoa that that sentence made everything so clear there's so much more to it so that's how this feels like to me here okay pile number four I'm joking I mean, come on, guys, come on. There is a child, a spirit of a child here that's about to be born. And it's almost like, even if you don't plan children right now, it's almost like you need to know about this. I don't know why, but you need to know about this. And I told you, like, this is... Look how those angels are protecting. Um, this is a representation of you and that child, right? Highly, highly protected here. Even in this empress over here, it, it's showing everything that's protecting this child, this spirit. So this doesn't have to be only, you know, a child for all of you, even though, you know, come on, this two of pentacles here, as well as the two of cups, right? The baby angel. Mm. A younger spirit of some sorts is watching over you. And I'm going to talk about this. I've talked to someone um, that I've been doing, I don't even know how to call it, self-discovery with. <laughs> um, a lot of people don't talk about this, but what happens when... The moment the egg is fertilized, that's when the soul is already assigned um, to that baby, right? Um, so when, when women would go to someone who, let's say, feels spirits or someone who can, you know, tune in um, to your energy and stuff like that, a high energy person, um, they wouldn't even have known that they have a spirit of a child around even if there was no abortion because sometimes we we have um sometimes you know we have those day after pills and stuff like that um sometimes we um, don't even know that this has happened we we've lost a child um when we have pain in the first couple of weeks right and stuff like that so it that it can be as you know unnoticed as that 
and I had a co long conversation about that with this um, with this person who was working in that field, which was really really interesting. Um, and they tend to be like almost like guardian angels, but most of the times we would lead them to light, right? But this is um, this is gonna be definitely a reading that not all of you are gonna vibe with, but. This message is all over the place. It's all over the place. Either a spirit is waiting to join your family or that spirit is looking out for you. Some of you wanting me to know that um, the relationship with a male is going to be changing in the future. Yeah, here you go, the Eight of Cups here. Um, there might be some kind of a clash or there was already. Now, no, you know where you stand. If Let's say you had a problematic um, relationship with a father or father figure. Um, it seems like you're going to either decide to let something go finally I'm hearing would it be a repressed emotion of some sorts or uh, forgiveness needs to to happen or this is someone that you already have um, an idea about that's probably someone that I know of um, where things aren't going smoothly for a long time already or I've been thinking about you know other choices or other options what do I do do I stay or do I go because overall in this reading, what you're being um, asked to know is that there is a very nice, high vibe person coming in your life. And uh, who needs to hear that is people who tend to find, them, find themselves stuck in uh, situations where maybe they're not treated as fairly. And because they get used to it, you know, it's, it's almost like a pattern now. Um, they sometimes don't tend to see that it can be better because they have not met someone who is completely different from what they used to know or have or maybe the almost like an example that they had growing up. So this is a sweet reading guys, um, very sweet reading. I truly hope that this reading found those who needed to hear about that because this is definitely not going to be for everyone. This was quite deep. Um, so I'm sorry if I have triggered any of you. I tried not to, but I always have to tell you what I see. And tribe love you as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.